You are you really like ready to have kids? Oh yeah. Yeah. Immediately. It is expensive um, for us queers. Very expensive. Yeah, it's very expensive. It's very complicated, of course, but I I always joke with my family. I'm like, look, y'all are so lucky I'm not straight. Cause it wouldn't be an oopsie baby. Like <laughs> I've got best friends. We like I would have already had a kid probably. I mean, what what month are we in? We're in July. Yeah, I would already have a kid by now for sure. Really? For sure, if I was straight. <laughs> for sure. Why do you is it based on where you grew up? Like, why do you say that? I don't I don't know. Honestly, no. I I've wanted babies seriously since I was like 14. Like I've always loved kids. I always loved hanging out, like taking care of. I, my best friend just sent me this photo of me and her three kids. And I'm just like, she's like trying to hang out with me and she's 30. Like we're having a kiki, like just having fun. And I'm on the floor, like babysitting all three of her kids, like rolling around, having a good time. Um, but like seriously, the maternal instinct has been since I was maybe 19, Wow. Um, but I, I knew I'm, I know I'm very young. I know that people say like, you need to live life. You need to go explore the world. And my thing is, is like, I got, I got a couple more years, right? Like I think two more years, maybe three more years. Um, but I don't want to go to Cabo and get wasted with my friends. I want to go to Disney world with my babies. <laughs> like I want to take my little peanuts. I don't want to go to Tokyo and explore the nightclubs. I want to go to Tokyo and like show my kids around like and get them cutie little outfits like that's the desires that I have and obviously there's a lot more to having kids but I'm not alone and there's there's a village around me and it's obviously a hard life but it is a life that I do want to bring kids into I have one question about the kids if you do have kids in the future would you let them join the dance world um if they wanted to I think initially I'll put them in dance and I'll see you know like Every kid when they're two, one of the, not even when they're two, when they're six months old and they sit up for the first time and they do a little wiggle, every parent goes, oh my God, they're dancing. You know what I mean? And so if that is nurtured and if they do gravitate towards music and there's early signs of a kid being, wanting to be a dancer, right? Um, If they gravitate towards playing with basketballs, like I would put them in basketball, you know what I mean? If they gravitate towards a baseball bat, like let's play t-ball. So whatever they kind of gravitate towards, I'll run with. Um, I do hope one of them is a dancer. I do. I think that'd be. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Think the dance world, of course, is crazy, mm-hmm. but there are lots of us that are fine. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think as long as you have a teacher that's crazy, but a parent that's good, I think you're good. You know what I mean? And I'm. I'm lucky that I had both in my same household. I mean, I had my mom who was my teacher who was crazy and I had my that same mom. I have a mom and a dad. Unfortunately, I don't have two moms. Um or two dads. Yeah. unfortunately my parents are straight. Um Lame. But part of my mom was my teacher who was crazy and part of my mom was my mom who was amazing. And so I was lucky enough to be raised with both and yeah, I always joke around how, like, with my kids, I'm gonna be like, do your solo two more times, Freddie, and then we can go play at the pool. Like, I <laughs> always joke about that, but that's never how it would actually be with yeah. them. Like, those those kids are gonna do whatever they want to do and be so happy, but yeah. 